As we approach the amphitheater, we can see the giant amphibian eating the amphibious vehicle. Amphi means uh, both. So what's the difference between amphiprotic and amphoteric? Well, amphiprotic, that's a substance that can be a proton donor or a proton receiver. That's where the protic comes from in amphiprotic. So that's essentially a Bronsted-Lowry acid or base is going to be amphiprotic. Amphoteric, well, that's a substance that can behave as either an acid or a base. And there are three sorts of acids and bases. The Bronsted-Lowry, that's just for the SL kids. Lewis, that's HL. And the so-called traditional. That's where uh, an acid produces H plus AQ in water and a base makes OH minus AQ in water. So on a quick Venn diagram, you can see that anything that's amphiprotic also has to be amphoteric. So amphiprotic is to do exclusively with Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Amphoteric is to do with any sort of acid and bases. So let's look at a couple of amphiprotic equations. Not forgetting it's to do with H plus ions, which are protons, Bronsted-Lowry theory. The HSO4 minus ion, well, it can receive a proton, which would make it a Bronsted-Lowry base. And the HSO4 minus ion can also lose a proton, which would make it a Bronsted-Lowry acid. So since the HSO4- ion can lose or gain a proton, it's amphiprotic, which means it must also be amphoteric, since everything amphiprotic is amphoteric. The classic example from IB World is two water molecules make a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. So one of those water molecules has transferred an H plus to the other. So water behaves as both a Bronsted-Lowry base and a Bronsted-Lowry acid. And so for SL, you just really need to know that aluminium oxide's amphoteric. No more, no less. And for the HL, you're going to have to discuss a little bit more about this whole, is it Lewis, is it Bronsted-Lowry acid base? So picking aluminium hydroxide as our example, if it reacts with hydrogen chloride, it makes aluminium chloride and some water. That is a Lewis acid base reaction. The hydroxide ion lone pair of electrons goes towards the hydrogen in the hydrogen chloride. It's not a Bronsted-Lowry acid base reaction. So aluminium hydroxide here is behaving like a Lewis base, amphoteric, not amphiprotic, no proton transfer. Let's look at the converse reaction, where it's behaving like a Lewis acid. If it's behaving like a Lewis acid, aluminium hydroxide, it's receiving a lone pair of electrons from the hydroxide ion. And again, there is no proton transfer, it's just electron pair donation amphoteric, not amphiprotic. And we're finished.